Beatles, probably the one of the nicest uh, tracks you can play acoustically from the Beatles, I think. Um, all right, if you've got a capo, stick it on the second fret. Um, it's in D, well, you'll play, play it in D, so it's effectively an E with the capo on the second fret. Right, this song's all about that little sitar sequence, obviously, so we need to learn that little riff. Um, so you start on a D, and just a tip, that third finger, on the second string there, we'll stay there. We won't take it off for the um, for that riff. So we've got to get the notes first. So we're not going to worry too much about the strumming. We're just going to get these three little chunks that make up that um, riff. So one bit at a time. So play your D. And what you're going to do then on on the third string is effectively just a rundown. So third string and fourth string you kind of need. So pinky comes up onto the fourth fret, third string. Plays it, back to you just your D, second string, release the second string altogether, and then pinky goes up onto the fourth fret, fourth string. So, so you're playing the third string. Alright, so they're the notes for that little bit. Second part. Well, you've got your D, take your second finger up off the third string and put it up onto the fourth string. Alright, play the fourth, that leaves the third string open, so play it open. Pinky then comes back up again onto that fourth string, fourth fret, and make a D again. Alright, so. playing the open fourth, I should have mentioned there, so, and then make your D structure again. Next part, just release those two fingers all together, bring the third finger, put it up onto the fifth fret, the fifth string of the third fret, play that, then the open third string, second finger onto the fifth uh, string, second fret, then make your D again, and then you're going to resolve onto a D, so. Sorry. So when you put it all together, it goes. Obviously you've got to strum as well, um, so that's the tricky part. So while you're strumming, you've got to just make sure when you, you've got to hit the note, obviously hit the note as you strum, so. Sort of like on this part here, you're kind of just like doing downs on the D. Down, down, down. All right? Then, then just play the notes here. Then down on the D. sequences you're downing on the D so it's just the first part you're kind of strumming then open then, then. Right. once you get better you can start hammering onto those kind of notes to sort of get it, get it, get a bit of a better feel for it so you can go Okay, so that's the main little riff bit. The other part you need is the um, told me she worked in the morning and started to laugh bit. That's just straight strumming, pretty much. So you're going to, from your D to the D minor here. So you've got a D minor. Then to a G. Back to the D minor. Then to an E minor. 7 sus which is uh, open 2nd 2nd 
open third third, which you know, that's their first chord in Wonderwall actually. After that, it's just to an A7. And if you want on the A7, on the A7, you can release the second string and come back on. Then back to your D. So it goes like this. She told me she worked in the on the D minor there, by the way, you can release the third string there too. She told me she worked in the morning and started to laugh. I told her I didn't and crawled up to sleep in the bath. Um, strumming. Yeah, um, that's how I do it. two bits you need for the whole of Norwegian wood, obviously. Yeah. Alright, so just learning that bit, just remember there's just three little parts to that into that um, that riff. Just learn one part at a time. Beautiful, simple song.